This is a personal account of a nurse all the way from Seattle, Washington, responding to an epidemic in West Africa, Monrovia, Liberia. A disease so deadly that once attacked East Africa and now in the west coast of Africa. Guinea. Liberia. And Sierra Leone. A population of just under 4 million people that was attacked by this deadly epidemic. The pandemic has caused desertion of activities in this very busy city, Monrovia. It's almost 5 o'clock and curfew is 9 o'clock so we have 3 hours to work. After 8, we need to get out of here as soon as possible or else we're going to sleep here like I slept here last night. In order to get this chlorine and water delivered efficiently to different communities, gallons have been made available and created specifically in a way that the water will be delivered touchlessly. Ebola is so simple to kill. I don't know why people are taking it for granted. Be very careful when you're going to buy your avoid human contact. This is the medical director, Dr. Ellen, of the Bikana ETU. This lady has been in Africa for over 30 years. Dr. David Austin, one of the doctors from the USA as well. These are all my colleagues working together to help fight this deadly epidemic. Getting ready to go to the ETU in the morning where we all gather in front of our hotel. All the expatriates from the USA, South Africa, and other parts of the world are together getting ready to go to the ETU. For me personally, it is disturbing going to the ETU because I know what I'm about to encounter. So the, the right state of mind is very important for me. Certain songs, I must listen to it before I get to the ET. I like the way you the way you dance like a make a drop that make a fly and I want to dance to the beat. Like me box and me, I want dance to the beat. Going to the ETU with a very, very disturbed mind is not the only fight you have to make. The conditions to the ETU is also a major part. Rocky roads and driving through an underdeveloped city is also one of the hurdles you have to jump through. We just arrived at the ETU. Procedure is temperature taken and also 
hand washing before entering the ETU. This is a top of chlorine 0.5% that is used to disinfect under your feet before you enter the ETU. And then as part of the procedure, we have a registration at the entry of the ETU. This is where the PPEs are put on. PPEs for personal protective equipment, goggles used to protect the eyes. And because donning the PPEs are a very, very thorough process, we have it listed on a whiteboard so that the process is not missed. In our ETU, there are four tents. Two of the tents are used for suspected patients and probable cases. Two of the other tents are used for confirmed cases. So the suspected tents or probable tents is where patients that meet the case definition of Ebola are put in. I'm T. Wallace in P. S. Dolo the Shaker. Okay. Our end there is by perfection. All right. All can help to fight it so that at least our country and our country can be free from Ebola. That we all can want more we can enjoy Liberia as Ebola free nation. And um, as you can see, they're here working with us and one of the staff members as well. What you were measuring? Yeah. He worked last night. I'm Morris M. Cho, nurse assistant. I work here helping the nurses to carry on to treat patients at the Ebola Center. This is a nurse's station. Clinicians gather here to prepare for their daily work. These are lab techs. These guys draw blood on different patients that are suspected. Every clothing brought in the ETU must be left in the changing room before entering the hot zone.
order to be safe, donning personal protective equipment must be done methodically and properly. For patient safety and privacy, patients are not going to be disclosed in this video. The actual process of getting into the hot zone is going to be seen. It's very, very tedious. Processes are carried on in a very methodical fashion. Before entering each tent, you must first step in 0.5% of chlorine solution. And just like you stepped in going in, you must step in coming out. Functions are designated to different people entering the hot zone. Sprayers are designated on each individual stepping out of each ward in each tent to make sure there's no spilled fluids on the garments. And if there is spilled fluids on the garment, sprayers make sure they spray off with 0.5% fluorine solution Just like it's a very tedious process getting into the hot zone, getting into the tents, suspected or confirmed tents, it is also a difficult process doffing off the PPEs. Entering the doffing station is equally as important doffing as donning. Very procedural. Specific instructions are given to each person doffing the personal protective equipment.
after I leave the ETU and go back to my hotel. By this time, I'm already so tired mentally. And so the only way I relieve my mental tiredness and mental stress is back in the powerhouse. I'm a citizen of this country. I was born right in Kenya. <laughs> okay, thank God to meet you. What I would say about Ebola, Ebola, it is real. Myself, I never knew that Ebola, I, I thought it was false, but it's real. Or I can find the medical for the basketball because we own our needs. And we called upon our God that, 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 that make everybody. So Ebola in Bikelans now, uh, my brother, Ebola is not actually in Bikelans like before. God knows that we can pray in this country and Bikelans is the second city to Mosorado. So uh, uh, from, even from, from the city to, to Riverside to number four, yeah. And number three compound uh -huh. to number B uh -huh. from there to Basi, Giatan, Clenton, Dison Town. Yeah. You don't hear but if I, I'm there from Dison Town. Okay. Community. Very really great thing that God has done for Grand Basa County. Oh. Oh. We really thank God for the title, the new title that came from West Nana, Nana, the Ibura, the Mokna. So we thank God for the title, the new title. The meeting I made because we have been that school is open now for our children to go back to school. But seeing the, the people that will play, our children are sitting at home, we far we were worried because uh, our vision. Thank you, Mate God, for all the tattoos that came to help us. That is what I want to do for us. Thank you all. You know, every city we go, it's always an attraction. You know, place where you go and relax. Talk about the beach of Buchanan. It's so nice and clean. And today, it is what it is. I'm here swimming and fighting Ebola at the same time. The music is sweet. Shake up your bum and make with it. That's what it is. I contracted this virus, the Ebola virus, while catering to my sick father and my youngest brother, who later on passed away. He was a, a health worker, a nurse. He treated someone, and after two weeks, within the course of two weeks, he took him down with his high symptoms of Ebola virus, and he was my younger brother. So when I got home, I decided to rush them to the hospital. When I got to the hospital, the people refused them to treat for them to be admitted in the hospital in order for them to take proper treatment. So in the wake of that, they decided to add it. For us to carry, carry him back to another facility. On my way back, he died in the car. The valley was with him for one whole day, one whole night. After the burial, they took the other families are with me, plus me, plus the, 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 the taxi driver who car was using at night. They took her to an area for quarantine, to be quarantined for 21 days. Two days later, my friend said, I came down with. I lost Africa, returned witness, rare eyed vomiting, and passing stood severely. 
the country have to, the men of the country have to, went there to have to check on us. And when they found out that we were showing, we were now, we were, we were showing sign and symptoms of the virus, the desire to bring us to town right away. They, they laid an ambulance and we walk. They took us straight to Moravia at Iedere to Alice El Watu, that of Brian Etio. We came to us there as any one of us, there was a trip hitting on us. The open eye beyond me, the little inside one, heavy trip. When the other one finished, they insert another one. At the, at the end of the day, the daughter came back and told us that, oh, today you people, you people are Ebola positive. We will take the probe on a suspected war and carry out to the confirmed war. Really, when they told me that our, our Ebola passed it, I broke out in tears. I lost. I knew that I have no hope again to live in this war. My, my, my friend and my cousin, two of them passed away that very night and they were not there by which was my which was which was one of my regrettable days or my sad days I had at the ATU to see my police who came along with me die and rest on me. After they die, they started, I had no hope again, you know that. I mean, I could die, but notwithstanding, the nurses knew that I brought the food. They started giving me a lot of treatments, trade, paracetamol, medical cocoa, sexualism, and other antibiotics. I went through that until I came out. They took my blood and they went to test it. Later on, they came back to me that, oh, they what? I was no longer having the Ebola virus in my blood again. It was one of my happiest days when that result was announced to me. But later I started to cry again for the death of my, my, my father, my younger brother, and my, my cousin, Abengo Smith, and my friend, Mohammed Swari. While they were having our departure, our homegoing program, they presented to me a certificate. They presented to me a certificate. And they also advised me not to have sex for 90 days because the, the virus was still in my cement. And also, they told me that as I'm going home, if I experience anything, I should come back to the ATU. My name is Anthony Kubi. I got this battle from my late uncle Sandro Moriba, who lived in Canada. He was ill and he called all the food and visit. So when we went for the visit, we went with him ill. But actually, we never knew what was happening to him. Time go by, and we went back home. He called all that he was dead. One week later, I came down with the virus, and I submitted myself to MSF. There where I was, carrying on my medication. But to MSA at the time we were there in Ocos, they were not opening our IV line, so they encouraged us all during that time to take in IV fuel, which is taking in water, ORS, and water, drink juices, and eat enough. That's the encouragement they were giving us. And more especially talking about eating, giving up our sediment and multivitamin. These are the treatment we were going on, and they were encouraging us in the process. And I have worn on so and so that my result came negative. My package you gave me, it will contain with this certificate you see with me. On this certificate, it also gave me 